Good morning. Happy New Year, sir. Of the weekend, your husband. My name is Anna Sibichiri. I'm a student of the University of Russia State School of Education and the Department of Mass Communication. So, sir, please, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. So, I'm talking on the high chemical price of gas. So, sir, as regards to the retailer, I'd like to ask you how the price of gas. Has you or I want to ask what has caused the hike in the price. And how that how that one hike in the price of gas. One, there are so many factors responsible for the hike in the price. One, first of all, is the federal government. Steadily they've been doing the price. We produce gas in Nigeria. We produce gas. We also import gas. Now the gas we produce in this country, they are not only 350,000 metric tons of domestic use. Write that down. 350,000 metric tons. 350,000 metric tons to meet the demand of gas, cooking gas users. Now because it is not enough, they allow importers to import the gas, the cooking gas and ask and say they will be ready to be duty free for them. But that's not what they pay tax. And it was gasetted. When it's something is gasetted, it means it was put in black and white. Import this gas to augment the shortfall of what is allotted. So they've been importing without paying tax. But recently, within a space of three months or so, they started making them to pay tax. Apart from paying tax, we need to also pay value added tax. We import, yes, to augment the shortfall of what was allotted for domestic usage. The trillion of capital is not even enough. Now you realize that these importers they will use their money to purchase uh, foreign exchange, pure channels, my customs, transport it. And they still pay tax on So before you know, before we need a 20 ton metric gap, by that one year ago, it's a 20 ton gap. Used to be there for 3.5 million. Started growing higher, this price started rising from 3.5 to 4 million, to 5 to 6. As I speak to you, a 20 ton tax sells for 8 million naira. And we use this money to purchase. Purchase uh, foreign exchange, do all the importation, bring those things without calculating all the extra cost because it's difficult to pay profit, to, to make profit. I still pay tax to government. Now we all have another peculiar problem. Cost of that is a peculiar problem. We have a farm tank in Calabar, and there's a lot of people who are going to buy Farm tank. Yes, a lot of people who are going to buy the fact that the big reservoir of gas with the, with the Department of Energy to supply gas for over two months and the other gas in the department. So from that gas plant owners have to travel to Port Harcourt at their own expense. Because if I go to Port Harcourt, I'm not going to Port Harcourt. I'll be going to Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt, they are waiting. So like everybody now goes to Port Harcourt to buy. Like, this three states go to Port Harcourt. The wholesalers are making the wholesalers. Huh? The wholesalers. The wholesalers. But we buy from wholesalers. We buy from gas plant owners. So the gas plant owners go to Port Harcourt to eat. You're going to Port Harcourt is 100 percent at your own cost. You understand? Your transportation. Because of you transporting a, a, a truck load, if you don't have a truck, you have to hire a truck. Then put that and transport it to your farm, to your fellow gas plant. You do additional, additional cost. Because you have to go on bad road again. Our road here, because you have to acquire a carabite to road, it's very, very bad. You can even spend, even you traveling with your small bike, you can sleep on the road. How much more carrying a truck load of gas? So before they won't get, when they get to Port Harcourt, they queue for three, four days before they can even get loaded. Because they're not the only one. You cannot come all the way from Port Harcourt, apart from those from Aquaibo, I've been going from Aja to Port Harcourt. Port they are already on ground. To queue up, to get loaded, and start finding a way to where your plant is. 
By that you pay all, maybe you stay in the hotel three, four days. This you cannot buy today, you stay tomorrow, you stay in By that you put in all this, you add all this additional cost. Then know your price will be the same. Okay, so this is you need to buy today. Yeah. So, why is it that the farm can impose your last things? You don't know the government should ask. From the government. No, no government. Government that the Department of Production is supposed to supply that feed that farm tank. Like okay. DPR, the Department of Production Resources is supposed to feed that farm tank with gas. The providers are supposed to feed. Department, the federal government, the Department of okay, the federal government. Yes, Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR. Write those things down. The Department of Petroleum Resources is supposed to feed the farm tank. But they are not feeding the farm tank. The government is not saying nobody is saying anything. So as private businessmen, they go that far to other states. Once they went to be where I buy from, they went to go to Port Harcourt. The queue was so long, they had to move further to worry. To bring that for you to put in that bag. Okay, so Sid, like, do you, has there been an increase or decrease in the number of customers? Of course, there will be decrease. There will be decrease. Our turnover has reduced. Day before, I used to sell like 50 kilos. I find that now I sell like Days. Okay. Because it takes somebody with money to remove eight feet and buy one thing. It has affected so many students. students many people have also gone back to prison. Some have gone back to firewood. You understand know I me? Mean? So we are not selling as much as we used to sell before. But then the fact that they start having products, they don't go that far to leave. That far to leave. The cost of extra cost of transportation. The fact that it's behind on six, just leave on that your flat. So we are driving from Potato, all the way, go through all those stairs, there are other road expenses, there's a crazy on the road. You must buy something for them. We won't come on daily driving on the road. The policeman will give us something. Have you not been experiencing it? How much for you kind a uh, good you want eight million? You still you have money. No matter what you have to drop it. You might get number of security checkpoints on the road from Potato to Calabar. You drop it. You build all those costs, so the price cannot be the same. So, sir, is this price also affecting like Otakot and other states? Otakot will be lower. Otakot will be lower. Lower? Yes. Like if they're selling for one cage, it's going to be how much? I don't know how much I'm saying, but it cannot be 850. Akwai will be a little bit lower because the road between Otakot and Akwai is lower. The road is good. Yes. The road is fine. Akwai will share with other people, but then you go to Ikorabasi. You enter it, you enter the river state. You understand me? And the road is fine. Because the river state have a challenge with the bad road. They have a huge challenge. The roads are not bad. So one of the factors is the bad road. Okay, so you said that the problem is on the federal government. They increase price. The federal government buy the increase the price. They increase the price and they are not making the, the farm tank to have steady supply. You understand me? The farm tank is about the farm tank here, about to feed customer and acquire them. They now put pressure on river states. You understand? The farm, if we have gas here in Calabar, acquire them will come here and do it. It was one thing. Because that's what we do. So all of them do to the river. There's much pressure there. You see, can tax can line from here to more than more than a white market. So, salary is the farm plant located in the United States. I don't know where you get that. I don't buy from farm plant. I buy from gas plant. It is the gas plant owner that goes to farm plant to use. The gas plant owners and they incur additional costs. You won't see any person with the Go to any compound for me. One, two, three, four persons must be used. Some have two, three cylinders. Because so, we too, they are using gas. And because the price too, you know, so for we, the students, sometimes yes. to starve because of the price of gas. So, so Sir Pridor, I'd like to ask, what measures do you think the federal government needs to put in place in order to reduce these costs and the price so of gas? Number one, apart from, if they can reduce the cost, the dealer, the fact that that's part of that supply. Reduce the price. One, two. The farm tank, which, which the you which they have, has steady supply of gas. 
You understand me? Like if Calabar been having steady flow, steady supply, they will not be going to water what they going to bring gas you used to pay. They just live from here. If every month, maybe they can be giving them supplies every two weeks. Or high years, I'll matter about every once in a month. But for over two months, they don't have gas in the family. What do you think of them? Yes. If the governor can put a voice across it, talk to the authorities, they should allow that, they should, they should make sure gas. It's, it's uh, the bank that they have steady supplies. There's no private businessman that will go to a bank of the capital and buy it for three months in July. You know, I don't know that. But if you get to know, if you pay tax to government, if you don't need to pay one, you don't need to pay one. So you have to increase the price. So please what did you say is your name again? Mr. Atakwa. 